Before we start today, um, here's a shout out to Ray, a shout out to Harin Tan, um, a shout out to Yuzuru, and a shout out to Kai Senpai. Now let's get back to our segment. I fumble around for seating. I just got my schedule in the mail, and I'm in the worst class possible. Instead of finding something to keep my balance, I falter, mouth ajar, on the floor along with my entire body. I think of who could have, who would have been able to do this. My grades are perfect with no marks, and my attitude is spot on, in front of the teachers at least. I can think of nothing, no one who would... My eyes narrow, and I try not to shatter my teeth. I'm going to kill Asano. That's a promise. I run a hand through my hair, thinking of a plan. He wants something on karma. I'll give him something and take him down with it. I'll find something extremely dirty, and as a plus, I'll give him his own scandal. And I'll make sure to let people know about it. I shrug on my uniform, practicing what I'll say if people ask why I'm transferring to E-class. I'll look incredibly suspicious if I don't have a good excuse, especially because I'm coming from A-class and one of the top students. This is going to take a lot more of my wit than I thought it would. I walk up the dreaded hill and into the classroom. The outside was just awful, and I feel a mouthful of this morning's breakfast when I'm thinking about the interior. However, The classroom is actually quite nice. Never mind this, I need to get back to A class as soon as possible. There is no time to make friends and no time to waste. I need to find something, anything on Agabane. As a start, I should try to find his student profile. All the students have one. It's like a personal record. It holds all of the juicy details in which your life has produced. I'm guaranteed to find something incriminating on him if I can just get my hands on that profile. There are a couple of kids in here already. Best not to make a scene just yet. I guess all I can do now is bide my time. I sit in the very back row so as not to draw attention to myself. (laughs) Besides, I already know what we're going to be learning. They teach everything from A class last year to this year's E class. It's only fair since they put in way less work than anyone on the main campus. Uh. Ellen? I hear my name and turn around to see Shiota, making his tiny way over to my desk. Hey Shiota. I feel sweaty on my forehead. I thought he was in D class, what the hell? I can't believe you're here, he says, eyes widening in surprise. Me neither, kid. Me neither. A yellow blob of something slides into the class and seems to begin teaching. What the absolute fuck is that thing? It's not until AJMD Japan's military defense agent follows after him and explains what this year is going to be like. As he talks, I look out the window. I truly never imagined this is how I'd spend my last year of middle school. Not that the one I was imagining before was anything to look twice at, but it was actually tactical and believable. Of all the things I could have planned for, I never thought of something like this. Never in an entire Beijing dynasty would I have imagined an actual man-made alien would want to destroy the earth and right before my graduation, much less ask a class of 15 year olds to kill him before he gets the chance to. I stopped listening to Mr. Karasma after he asked us to act as assassins for this creature, but if I got anything else out of his long ass speech, it's that I have a chance at winning 10 billion yen. With my mind and my charm, I'm sure I've got this in the bag. Besides, this thing used to be human, right? And humans are the easiest creatures to manipulate. If anyone can kill this thing, it's me. Wait. I shake my head. Am I actually thinking about staying in this class? If I do, and get no information for Asano, he will expose me. My picture will be on every single magazine cover. I just know it. I also know that this is my last chance not to only get rid of it forever, but take Asano down with his old friend. As I presumed, math is easily dealt with, along with English and science. 
These are all things I learned last year, and it makes me madder to think about falling behind the current 3A class students. I grip my pencil in my hand. I miss art club, drawing on canvases. Here in E, students aren't allowed to take an extracurricular class. Now that's just cruel. My eyes scan the room. I know no one except Chiota, so during lunch, I opt to sit outside. A few students come out too. I ignore them when they walk past me. I remember from their introductions that they are troublesome. I should do my best to stay away from them. Although, I know I should avoid all of E-class. I can't let them drag me down. Not when I'm so close. I let out a sigh, thinking intensely as my eyes roam over the trees, landing on something red at the top of one. I assume it's a bird and keep thinking, eyes narrowing as I see my plan come into formation. I understand how to beat Akabane and Asano. I can see everything settling in place, the string of my mind pulling the pieces together. Then, like a jarring storm, the red thing up in the trees that I assumed was a bird bobs in to my right as I finally take notice of it, of him. I jump, startled out of my day, but soon my shock fades into annoyance. My big eyes cut to slits and I say, so cold. Yes, and? I don't say that, but it does remind me of someone. I take another look at the guy in front of me. Who is he and what does he want? Let me rephrase that. What can I help you with? He sucks in a breath, looking straight, then back at me. He tilts his head and one side of his lip quirks up, like someone I know all too well. I have a question for you. He's not dressed in a uniform, and I didn't see him during class or after introductions. The yellow alien didn't call anyone as absent, insinuating he didn't come late. So again, who is he and why is he here? So ominous, I smile, hopefully indicating I am intrigued. Would I be able to obtain your name? In a different situation, I would have referred to him as sir, but something tells me he isn't much older than I am. He grins. You have to earn it. Excuse me? Who does he think he is? I'd rather be surrounded by E-class scum than be sitting here having a conversation with this obnoxious idiot. No, thank you. I stand to walk back inside the class, but before I can take a step, I feel a hand tug on my uniform. Wait, please don't go. His pout is too obviously fake, but I'm way too curious not to give in. Yes, fine. No name. What is your question? And make it quick, class is about to start again. Of course. He smiles, clearly pleased with himself. Nevertheless, I glare at the spot he's holding my sleeve in, and when he lets go, I refocus on his eyes, a kind of orange, golden, possibly mercury color. I just wanted to know. Now he smirks, a smirk I've never seen on anyone else besides, well, besides myself. How's Asano doing? 